what's going on guys it's your boy terror by reacts here and we are back with another episode of dr stone that just came out and i'm ready are you ready remember dr stone is going to be for sundays and i am ready to jump into this episode very very nice concept for an anime i i um i love it love the science so far dude seems super smart i think his name is Sen senku i think it is <laughs> as i go along i'll remember these guys name i know the other guy's name is taiju i think um the other the, the girl's name is <laughs> i don't know don't crucify me okay okay my friend yes so i'm here and i'm looking at my thing here and making sure that yeah, my picture is there, is there okay so mr stone here they we still don't know the cause of why civilization just got everybody turned into stone so now that they figured out how to get out or he figured out a, a way to dissolve the stone or whatever the situation is and now who are get they going to choose to wake up if so being of course they're gonna wake up the girl um so i don't know who they're gonna choose to wake up after that um so i'm looking forward to it not much to say here only one episode now it's just the second episode so let's jump into it man and see what this is all about you already know link is down in the description go watch the reaction wherever you choose to react um to go watch it whether it's on the google drive or on the bit shoot site it's up to you i give you guys two options because google drive can be finicky sometimes when it comes on to there's a view limit over there so i don't think i'm gonna have any problems with with this because it's not a super popular anime it seems like not yet as in uh, people are not looking for these reactions yet I, I don't even think the first video doesn't even have a hundred views yet so i'm down with it i like the concept so let's jump into it more dr stone and i will see you guys back here for the review let's go all right so this one was it was a little bit different continuation of the story of course and i have to say man who this one is them waking up this this dude that is all brown and i know i called him samson because <laughs> you know what i'm saying he's over he's already op <laughs> he's already he's basically a superhero at this point um i don't like his stance on you know you know um you know the people you know what i'm saying like bringing back the people or who they should bring back i think he should bring back everybody he can why everybody deserves to as i said at the end of the video everybody deserves to exercise their free will and it's not to say that you know, I'm hoping that everybody is coming out of this, coming to this circumstance as good. You know what I'm saying? As in they, they, they're going to come back and they're going to all be good and everything is going to be peaceful and all of this other stuff. Is what you would want, yes, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. At the end of the day, humans are always going to be humans. At the end of the day, power still corrupts. At the end of the day these things are going to happen you can't you, you can't change that these things are going to happen it's just it's gonna happen <laughs> you know what I'm saying people are gonna choose to do bad and people are gonna choose to do good but they deserve the chance to choose you can't make that choice for them especially when they're in a situation right now where they're petrified they can't do anything about it um, so I love what Senku is going to try to do to rescue everybody because everybody deserves a second chance just like he has a second chance um, 
ties you as a as a second chance. And you, my dude, do you have a second chance? I don't know what your name is, yeah, but I'm gonna call you Samson. You deserve a second chance too, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? You guys got a second chance, and everybody deserves that second chance that you got that was living before. You know what I mean? So, as I said, man, love the concept of this anime, and this episode was straight fire. They, you know, and you know, I think in in some ways too, I really do believe that kids should watch this show. And the reason why I'm saying that. The reason why I'm saying that I would love if they could pull in a better audience, you know what I'm saying, like an audience that a younger audience should watch this, like early teens, even earlier than that, you know what I'm saying, early age, kindergarten kids, whatever, they should watch this show. And the reason why I'm saying they should watch this show is not necessarily everything in it is a, is a learning experience so far it's two episodes and i can tell you so much that i've learned so far most of it is science based it's things that i never knew i never knew that um calcium carbonate or whatever that is could make freaking soap and all of this other stuff like i didn't know that that stuff was in so many different things and it's so it's so crazy that i know I don't know a lot about science as in ingredient ingredients wise you know what i'm saying i'm not in the lab and it's it actually i wanted to be a research scientist when i was like probably like 10 11 years old that's what i wanted to be so that's why this intrigues me so much you know what i'm saying life details as you get older things change um not necessarily that you forget about your dreams but other interests better things interests that that you know that are more stronger your desire for that interest is a lot more stronger like for me it was learn um learning more about technology and all of this other stuff how that works that stuff has a way better more pull on me now than you know being in a lab being you know what i'm saying a lab rat and all of this other stuff i just not there you know what i'm saying but back in the day i was i didn't want to be a research scientist so this stuff really intrigues me as i said there's a lot of stuff as back in the episode one review where i said that um people should watch the show because they're going to learn a lot about science because i'm look i'm looking forward to that aspect of it because it's going to be really intriguing how he's going to go about doing things differently this time around building civilization from scratch of course they're going to move at a way faster pace because they know these things are achievable if you didn't know know it you get what i'm saying like things one thing leads to another every different age of existence it leads into the next you know what i'm saying like right now we're living in the information age back it was a technological age you know what i'm saying so it's like one thing leads to the next you know what i'm saying now information is basically taking over everything you know what i'm saying living in the information technological age it's taking over everything you know what i'm saying like everything is at our fingertips every information is basically at our fingertips that we want you want help with something google it <laughs> you know what i mean you don't re even really have to ask a person anymore about these things about a lot of things i'm talking about like if you want to know who broke this record in in that age or you know what i'm saying I, on this year or who broke the olympic record or whatever the situation is and you can't remember just google the damn thing because it's there you don't have to wait until oh let me wait until i see my mom that she probably know no you just pull it up on your phone you know what i'm saying so we're looking we're living at that time that is pretty awesome you know so i think it's going to be the building of civilization is going to be way quicker they've already discovered cement you know you know how long it took um it took to discover cement <laughs> and he just did it in, 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 in no time at all and you know what i'm saying so pretty awesome stuff man like how do you know that this person after all those years when he was a little kid how does he know that the guy is still like that you get what i'm saying the guy could have changed it. he just basically just knocked his head off he's dead so it's not cool what he's doing i don't agree with it even though what he's saying makes 
sense. I understand this sentiment, but it's not the way that I would do it. It's not the way that I think Senku could do it. And those dynamics, I don't know if it's going to cause friction between them, but I'll, hopefully it does not. But we're here. I'm here for it. So let's get it done. So thank you guys for watching as always, man. This one was awesome. Also, I loved it. I understood. I, I it's going to be interesting the dynamic between all these characters that they're going to wake up it's going to be interesting to see how things go further if we're going to go down the same line or it's going to be interesting to to match this up with actual real life and be like suppose this should happen in real life you know and you were the first one to woke up to wake up what would you do you know what i mean so it's going to be interesting so th thank you guys for listening to me talking about this stuff been awesome it's been awesome just remember man to like and comment under this video if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel there's more stuff you can go about check it out check out all of them pretty much all my videos are in playlists so you can go and check out check to see if i watch the show and go watch the reactions whatever keep supporting the channel guys because we're growing and as i said before i love my community i love how everything is progressing forward and forward and getting even more um interaction and stuff from you guys so everything is awesome thank you guys for listening as always just remember you are terror squad i am mr terabyte react and i will see you guys next time for more dr stone peace